Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. So it's uh, day 80 of playing chess here on uh, chess.com. We're currently ranked 1709, and uh, we're going to play a 10 plus 0 game. So yeah, off we go. Alrighty then. We get uh, the black pieces. Opponent plays d4 from the United Kingdom. Um, probably going for the Jabala, right? Otherwise, I don't know what. It's a very interesting open. Queen's pawn opening, Shigor and variation. So his idea is to play here, as far as I can tell. Maybe this is a, a move. So bishop uh, f5 here takes, takes, takes. And then we can snatch a pawn. So let's try that. That's interesting. Okay. Very uh, aggressive. So let's just slide back. Okay. Guy won't leave us alone. If I go here, I think h6 is fine. Okay. Now he plays e3. Very. Uh, very interesting. So I'm going to support the pawn here and open up my bishop. Okay, we trade. Um, the guy's actually like blitzing all of his moves. So maybe he knows this pretty well. C5 looks like an idea to strike at the center and then put my knight behind the pawn. This knight's a bit stuck. His bishop's stuck as well, though. He has this check. Um, so maybe this makes sense. And then c5? I don't know. Is this too passive? c5 check. Lock is fine. Okay, so let's play c5. Seems like the more active move. We don't want to play too passively. <clears throat> I I don't think I've had this opening before, actually, which is, um, you know, which is rare because I've played quite a few games already and uh, not only in this uh, series, but just offline as well, of course. And I don't think I've had this uh, opening variation. I wonder if bishop f5 was correct or inaccurate. I think it's a decent move because we, you know, we moved it a bunch, but he advanced on the king side, but we ended up trading off that light square bishop. So, I mean, I could always uh, castle queen side if this, this gets, you know, too dangerous. c4, queen has to go back to e2. Or I take and I go here. I might just develop, you know? I might just develop. Because I'm not in a rush to play either of these moves. I don't believe that, you know, there's a problem here. I mean, I could go here. And if he takes, take, take. Hmm, gets a bit complicated. He's threatening basically to go. If I go here, it takes and then. Okay. What if I go here? A6 doesn't seem too bad, but then I lose this pawn. So I'm going to lose this pawn. So queen b6, we trade. Seems all right. Queen b6 then. Okay. <clears throat> this at least opens up the A file. And um, yeah, seems all right. Okay, so if I take, he's going to take back here. I can't do this because I lose the queen. And if I play here, 
then he's threatening to infiltrate. But I could just long castle there. So take here long castle and then kick the knight out, right? What if takes, we said takes, looks like a good idea for him because he's putting more pressure on a pinned piece. Okay. We mentioned long castles before, so I don't think it's uh, too bad. A6, take in the center. Should be okay. Whoa. So I play a6, right? And then I take, maybe I close down. Take, let's play a6. Okay, it goes back. Do I wanna close it? Not sure, what's better? Takes, he has to take this pawn. Let's take, let's open up the file. Maybe, uh, okay. What if I go here? What if I go here? My pawn's a bit, I don't know. If I push, takes, takes, seems all right. And this pawn's a bit. Now let's push. Let's put. Let's get a big center. Yeah, let's get a big center. Although this pawn will be. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm trying to play, you know, moves that he doesn't expect. Maybe I, maybe I should just focus on playing the best moves. <laughs> If I knew what they were, that would be nice. Maybe putting my bishop on d6 is something that I could consider next. I mean, this knight is controlled by uh, the bishop, so that's fine. I think g3 makes sense. And he has to go like here. Just has to go back, so he's moved his knight a bunch. And now if I go here, looks like an idea. Let's develop the bishop first. This knight is unprotected, so that's something that I, I'm noticing. So maybe here, that would be an idea. So takes, 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 um, I have to move this, I guess. Okay, well, could reroute. I don't think that's a problem. Can get an outside pass pawn. Let's play here. Don't want to go back. This gives me a pass pawn that I can push. So that seems okay. Oh, this pawn's hanging. Fantastic. So now I have to push this. Or I had to move the bishop, but I don't know where the bishop might go. So he's going to have to take that. Um, I don't see another move. This. Or that, actually. Just control that knight. Guess this makes sense to go after this. It's the, one of those. Uh, it's a tough game, that's for sure. Have this check. Doesn't seem to do much. Check over. Bishop is pinned in that case, actually. 
Okay, what if I take? He takes, check. Okay, well, let's take. Oh, yeah, but now I have this. Yeah, the bishop was pinned. That was a kind of a trap by me, taking that pawn. It's mate. It's mate. He can't do anything, I believe. Yeah. <clears throat> and now we take here. <clears throat> yeah. Um, that wasn't too bad, I think. Okay, let's take a, let's take a look at the game review. Okay, so I played with an 85.2 accuracy and uh, 1950 rating. Okay, let's take a look at this opening. Shigorin, right? Yeah. So this is not the best move. And yeah, bishop f5 is inaccurate. So what are we uh, supposed to do in this case? e6, we're supposed to play like a queen's gambit decline sort of thing. And then here I... Uh, Oh, it's a miss, so I should have gone for the check immediately, I guess. See? Yeah. Check here, and then e takes f4. But I feel like this set up the trap in a better way, right? Because if he doesn't take with the bishop, then he gets forked, then he loses a, a rook for a knight. But this just runs into checkmate. So here, um, actually taking... C3 is the best move, but uh, here it's basically, you know, you get the you get the exchange. And uh, actually, no, you can't even take back once again, yeah. Because if you take back, then just, you know, you end up like this, down a piece. And I got this uh, strong H pass pawn. So, yeah, well... Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that. A bit of a different opening today that I haven't faced before. So uh, always good to see. And yeah, I'll see you guys uh, in a couple days. Peace.